Hello and welcome to a new episode of Subways in Hamburg. I'm not alone today, but I'm with Max. Hi, Max. Hi, everyone. Max, you are the CEO of HR Innovates and you guys working on that title. We already seen it uh, so, yeah, quite some time ago, but today we want to take a look at a new build. Normally, I'm doing that alone, but I thought as we are still in an early version of that game, it's better to take you aside and we're going to talk about the current version, what's planned and where the development state is currently standing at. So, first of all, we are at a stop here. We are at a subway stop. Please give us some information. Where are we? Where is it located in Hamburg? And is there something special about that one? Yes. So first of all, we're looking at the station Kellinghusenstraße in the new upcoming game Subways in Hamburg. Uh, the special thing about the station is that it connects two lines with each other. So these two tracks in the middle of the station are uh, intended for the line U1. Uh, and the outer two tracks, including the one that our train is currently standing at, those are reserved for line U3. And on these platforms, you can easily change between the line U1 and U3 back and forth. And the very cool thing about this station is actually the timetable because when, uh, during the daytime, the U1 and the U3 trains in each direction always start at the same minute, meaning you can really just switch from one line to the other almost without waiting. And you later on gonna see that in game, right? We are gonna have AI trains here and you will see your colleagues waiting with a train or if you're running late they might not wait for you yes definitely there will be ai trains all around hamburg all around our virtual hamburg uh, and we are also looking into including the other lines that are being connected in some of the stations on the u3 so we've got our train here waiting. It's actually labeled with Fahrschule, so driving school today. And that's what we basically gonna do. We already started up the train and it's ready to move. So this time we're gonna look at the progress of the development, but in later videos, we definitely gonna start up the train. You're gonna teach me how to do so. And we're gonna drive the train in this nice looking yeah copy of hamburg you say virtual hamburg i actually say copy of hamburg because it's really really accurate especially the stations and the train and the train you guys working with the official um yeah subway hamburg together to get it right with the hochbahn hamburg so you're actually working with the drivers with the instructors and all the people together to get the simulator as accurate as possible yes definitely and it's also this uh, exactly this cooperation with the hochbahn hamburg so with the operator of hamburg's net uh, metro network that we can achieve this high level of detail and of technical accuracy all over the game. And what's more, we're also using Unreal Engine 5, uh, which explains the high level of graphics that we're achieving in this early version of the game already. Definitely. So let's talk a bit about, uh, about the station again. I see already people waiting here for a train. They later on gonna board the train, gonna find their spots and well, actually then gonna join your ride. But we also have information tables right now. Let's actually speed up to one of them. They show, um, well, kind of default information, but are you looking into make them, yeah, working? We have a lot of plans and we have a lot of features that we want to implement. This is also one of them. Uh, the only thing is we don't want to promise too much for the release of the game. First, we will release a stable version. And then uh, after so time after time, all of these features will be added. So that's the good news for you guys. The game will be continuously improved after the release. So there won't be just one version of it, but it's a, a game that will be steadily maintained over and over for weeks and months. So let's actually stop talk about that station the people are waiting to jump in front of our yeah camera position and that's what we actually gonna do so just a small click for us and we are inside of the cab um yeah as i said the train is already set up that we are good to go i just seen one little issue i see a blinking 
button and the blinking button most likely means something is not set up right and then if I look over my shoulder I still can look outside the doors are open so Max let's actually close up the doors and I might won't have thought to press that button as it's blinking <laughs> but give us some more information already if we're not talking about the train today too much about how to operate with the doors Yes, so all of these five buttons, uh, including the two yellow ones, the two blue ones, and the white one in the center, are intended for the door controls. We'll see about the details later, and for now we will just close the doors in the fastest possible way. That's by pressing the key labeled with T. So, doors are closing, we're gonna hear it, and we're gonna see it. Doors are closed! That means no more buttons are actually blinking or making some noise and we are good to move on. So I see that little joystick. I might have an idea that that could be useful for it. That's right. So let's go ahead. Let me give a small information as we already talking about the sim the whole time. Please keep in mind, this is a preview version of the simulator. It's by far not ready for release. There are known issues, especially in speaking about performance, as a lot of debuggers running in background. We're recording different things. That means we actually gonna take FPS from the game right now to debug to get better performance. The performance will increase and you guys gonna see that from video to video. That's why we actually wanna take you through the ride of the development of the game so you have a better idea what to expect and to bring in your feedback. It's really important for us to get your guys' feedback. We wanna hear what you think about the game, what are the points you looking forward to, and maybe if you see something working wrong, Feel free to comment that and definitely also hit the like button and subscribe to not miss any new content. So Max, after the long talk of myself, explain us, we are going now here to our next station. What will be our next station? How is actually the U3? What's so special about it? Because it's one of the most unique and special lanes uh, lines in Hamburg. Yes, definitely. So we're now approaching the station Sierichstraße, which is a kind of a small station without any operational particularities. So you won't really have something to do there. Just uh, stop at the at the intended place um, and we're good. But about the general line U3, it's a very interesting and, uh, line and an operational highlight because it's a ring line. That means that one of the stations of the line is run through twice. That's a station Barmbek. Uh, and it means that you can drive the line in a circle, starting at Barmbek and then also terminating at Barmbek. But you can also uh, drive the kind of the, the section outside of the circle to Wandsbek Gartenstadt. And that means that there are really a lot of things that, that you can do uh, and it's not just a regular metro line running from A to B. And last but not least, also don't forget about the harbor area from Landungsbrücken to Baumwall and over to Rödingsmarkt, because that's the section of the, or the, the most famous section of the entire Hochbahn network, where you will have a direct view of famous Ham Hamburg landmarks, such as the Landungsbrücken, the Michel, and the Elbphilharmonie. So, just taking a quick look at the station. I also wanted to mention, because I love this feature, that you later on can freely explore all the different stations. It's not like you're just going by, yeah, subway. You can also always exit the subway, maybe even switch trains, whoever knows, but you can at last definitely explore all the stations and get a view of them and of the level of detail of them. Even if you say that's not a special station, I really love these brick walls and the mix of different textures and so on as it used to be in realism. Really, something special, but as we are running on a yeah timetable, let's jump back to our subway and let's move forward. So. Yes, definitely. And as you can see on the right-hand side of the track, also all of the signals have been recreated appropriately, which means we also have a control center working in the background, um, which does all of the, the interlocking 
so that's also a thing which we're going to explore in future videos. So something unique and really special about the subway sim is I always thought uh, about the subway sim Hamburg actually is I always thought subway means underground. But that's completely different here. Most parts of the tracks are overground. So you're not going underground as much. You still have sections where you are underground and even longer sections as we do see them right now. But a lot of these things are just, yeah, on the uh, over, on the upper side of the lab, uh, not in tunnels. Yes, correct. And um, maybe to point that out for all of those who are not familiar uh, with the German language, Hochbahn actually means elevated railway. So kind of the name of the metro operator already reveals this fact. Oh, you might want to break. <laughs> um, but the name of the metro network already reveals that it's mostly above surface and only for a short part below surface. Yeah. As I said, you might see some shutterings in the video. That's mostly from the debugger. We're still working on improving um, overall also the um, performance and we will showcase that in the upcoming videos. So another station, another really nice looking one. That is an impressive one. It actually recalls the colors of the train blur with the red and the yeah, kind of grayish color, metallic color, and it looks really, really stunning. Maximilian, I love that one. That's one of my <laughs> favorite stations, actually, especially with the glass top here. Just look at the reflections and all that stuff. Even from upside, it looks incredibly good. Yes, definitely. But it's also a thing that we've spent hours and hours working on it. Uh, so all of the 25 stations in total on the line uh, are recreated with high attention to detail and to accuracy. So all of these colors, all of these details, each of the particular features of each individual station are all recreated in the game. So that means that you won't just uh, go through the stations quickly, but it's also going to be worth to stop for a minute and have a closer look at the stations mm -hmm. because there's really a lot that you can experience and yeah. see. Just keep your timetable on your eye, and that's why we. Oh, I actually stand it up. <laughs> that's why we actually gonna move forward. Cause yeah, you say we should see sightseeing here at the station, but our boss is calling for our timetable. And can you maybe give us a hint about the different game modes? If I'm speaking about ta timetable. Yeah, so there's gonna be a timetable mode where you can select which service you wanna run. That's uh, the one thing which will kind of limit the, the amount of decisions that you can take during the game because you uh, decide for one course in advance or for one service in advance. But you will also have an opportunity to explore a little bit more of Hamburg in the way that you want it. Uh, <coughs> but we will tell more about that later on. So... Let's actually move forward. Let's move to our last station for today, a really unique and special station. And I have to say, I love the view. We have kind of golden hour. We actually deactivated the clouds for now. And um, so the reflection of the light is really, really high. And the sun is just shining into our eyes. We see the blinking effect from the sun. And look over there. I already spotted something really unique and special. Some AI trains waiting here for us. And they definitely do not look like the one we are driving. So something we're going to talk about quite soon, Max. I'm quite sure that's something I need to ask about. So let's make our way to the next station, to our final destination for today. And then have a look at that special station and you might can give us an idea why these tra uh, trains were parked there yes exactly uh, before we enter the station you might want to make sure that you're running slow enough so we don't want to have the same thing happening <laughs> as in the german video right <laughs> you guys need to know i might overstep here and i might miss the red signal but for the english viewer no 
I'm knowing better. So we're gonna make take it, it really slow and we're gonna move forward until this red well signal and not above. As I said, keep in mind the frame rate, especially in the station, might seem low for a second. That's simply for our debugging tools that gonna be fixed at release and even before release. So, arrived at our final station, we see a red signal. And where are we now? We are now at the station Saarlandstraße. And the particular thing about this station is that there is a parking lot, kind of a parking lot for trains attached right to it. Um, also, the, the location of the station is particular in one way because it's very close to the next station, Bambik, which means the ring is being connected here. Many trains starting and stopping there. So um, from an operational perspective, Saarlandstraße is very important because many trains uh, or services start here early in the morning or terminate here late in the evening. So that's why you will definitely see the station Saarlandstraße a few times in the game. So let's have another final look at our train because I love your level of details that you spent to make the train look as great as is it. Especially here down where you most likely not going to see the train. Often it is stunning. Every rail, every pipe is well displayed and modded and looks especially great. I'm loving that, that you put such a level of detail to the exterior of the uh, train. So you guys might already have an idea what level of detail is awaiting us once Max is going to showcase us how to drive that one. Definitely. There's going to be a lot of things that you will need to learn, Fabian. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say we're going to call it for today. We've got a short overview about what's going to come next to, yeah, subways in Hamburg. We saw some stops for today and we're going to see some more in the upcoming weeks. And I um, can tell you guys that a video is just around the corner where we're going to see more parts of the tracks in a new version of the game. and. As Max already said, he's going to teach me how to drive this subway quite soon as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video for today. Hope you get a good idea of how Subway Sim will look like, how it will feel like and how the different things going to work out. If you have something to say, feel free to leave the comment down below with your ideas, with your feedback about the, the simulator. Well, Max. Thank you for joining today. Thanks for the nice overview and insights in that build. Hope you guys want to see Max soon in the future again and give us more information about the version. And last but not least, I want to leave the last words to the guest. Max, thanks again. <laughs> thanks, everybody, for being on. I just want to say, stay tuned for the next few videos. There's a whole lot of content to be showcased in the near future. Make sure that you're not going to miss it. So make sure to subscribe. See you next time. Enjoy. Bye-bye.